What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for supporting us by subscribing and hitting the bell icon. I know you've done that already, so thank you in advance. Today on the agenda, we are doing an injector rebuild for the M20 and the E28. We know how much you love the E28, so we continue to bring the best content for you guys to follow, especially since you guys are uh, picking up a lot of those cars now. Uh, the E30 out the window, right? Everybody's picking up the E28. Everybody's doing the, uh, what, the E30? E32 7 Series, I've seen a lot of those fly around, and the E23, but we'll actually bring some E23 stuff later if you guys didn't already know. But anyway, injector rebuilds. We have some updates from the M50 swap that we're doing. My brother's kind of leading that project right now, but he has his own swap that he's been doing that we have not been documenting. He might have a little bit of tidbit of information for you because he's doing something special. Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in. Uh, schematics, schematics, law of cosines. For those of you out there that were like saying, hey, when am I gonna use this, uh, you know, when I graduate high school? So here's a little bit of the, you know, uh, top secret uh, information that my brother's talking about. But here's the M50 head that he was talking about for my project. Not that I'm ditching the M20. Everybody loves the M20. Such an easy engine to work with. But man, this platform is just so easy to work with. You know, of course, the hydraulic, uh, you know, lifters, etc. And of course, you know, I'm gonna throw in there some S52 cams, so. There we go. That, that was should, the that tidbit should, that, that I was talking about. <laughs> that should be sweet. Um, other than that, I'm actually working on some really interesting things that uh, would probably benefit the whole community. Uh, my brother and I were really excited uh, to move forward with some bigger projects. Aside from building our cars, you know, we, we like to invest some of our time into parts and some innovative things that probably will help you in the future. Nevertheless, check out our build. There's the M50. Uh, and of course, you know, it's missing the pan. So you guys know those M50 rats, right? At the yard taking those pans. Yeah. We're probably gonna be uh, dropping that sometime soon. I wanna say, you know, within the next week or two. Uh, we also have to do some body work on the project vehicle right there, the E30. Well, there is some top secret stuff. We can't tell you yet. We are very excited. Uh, we're in development. For those of you that are in the works of doing a swap, this is gonna help you greatly, but we can't drop it just yet. So in the meantime, stay tuned, stay subscribed, hit the bell icon like I said earlier, and that will keep you up to date. While my brother's working on that vigorously, as always, I will do the injector service, and hopefully you guys can follow along. It's pretty simple. If you guys have removed the rail already, you're halfway done. All right guys, what I've done so far is I've unplugged the connectors that go to the injectors and there's a couple temp sensors that are in the front. You wanna unplug those. Basically anything that'll get this piece of the harness out of the way so you can remove the rail will help the most. Next what I'm gonna do is re uh, remove this bracket here for the manifold. It attaches to the valve cover and it kinda helps clear up the space so we can pull the rail out and that'll kinda give us just enough space to squeeze it out because we need to push the rail off of the injectors first, right? Remove the rail, remove the injectors. Sometimes it comes out in one piece, but let's not count on it. So when you're doing the fuel line, sorry, I almost forgot. When you're doing the fuel line, put a rag over it. I mean, while this isn't a high pressure, like modern BMW fuel system, where it's like 2000 PSI or whatever, it's still enough pressure to spray in your eyes and hurt you if you're not wearing glasses. So in my case, I'm not. So I put a rag over it so you protect yourself when you pull the line off. Once the uh, fuel's gone, I mean, you're, you're good to go. But also, another safety measure, unplug the battery, undo the battery. I undid the negative, but if you're safer, um, if you feel safer undoing the entire thing, by all means, do it. Do not take any chances. Let's move on, we're almost there.
All right, guys, here we have it. We have all the injectors out now. I am keeping them in their order just so we can see how they're actually shooting fuel out. I'm really curious to see which one has a poor uh, atomization and to see uh, which ones are still good. But either way, we're still gonna rebuild them. Uh, not a big deal. It was a kind of a pain to get them out. I mean, to be honest with you, it always is with these M20s. Luckily, you don't have to remove much. Uh, you don't have to remove the manifold or anything crazy like that. You just kind of have to work your way around the harness. The wire looms that, that are still on there from 30 years ago, they're very stiff and they're brittle. They want to break. And them being really stiff makes them really hard to maneuver. But we didn't have to remove much. Just an overview. Just unplug the harness connectors. Uh, undo the crank breather hose that's on the valve cover just move it out of the way behind the rail and then i removed three injectors while they're still in there you can remove all of them it was just easier for me to remove the first three and then wiggle it out remove the bracket you can probably remove that second bracket there that, that one right there but i didn't um i found it just fine without it but let's move on uh don't forget your fuel lines and the return line all right guys, so here's the idea. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna use this regulator and a little ball valve to uh, regulate the air that we're gonna pressurize uh, with fuel to do just like the preliminary test of, see what the, of seeing what the stream looks like or uh, the atomization, if it's even atomizing anymore. And uh, after that, we're gonna try cleaning them and replacing the filter on the inside. So first things first, we're gonna just see what it looks like. I'm gonna try to take some really cool slow-mo footage of this because if we can see how well it atomizes in slow-mo, I think that'd be really cool. And just kind of do like a before and after. So let's, let's give it a shot.
All right, guys, I just got the fuel rail back in. It's just seated. There's nothing really, let me try to squeeze you in there so you can see it. It's just seated down into the runner, the intake runner. Uh, new O-rings, nice tight seal. It should be fine, so from this point, do not forget, absolutely do not forget your clips that hold the rail to the injector. So this is the next step for me. I'm gonna put this back in, and then from there we'll continue to zip it up and get a move on with this and see how it runs after this. I've been sitting here the whole time supervising, wearing the official Super Beamer Brothers hat. Well, we call it Super Beamer Help. Yeah, Super, Be <laughs> Super Beamer Brother Help. <laughs> I was making sure he didn't set himself on fire. Safety team in full effect. <laughs> Let's start her up. guys the verdict is that it does sound much better and I'm sure it will perform much better while you're at this point before you take off if you're doing this at home just take the final few minutes to make sure that there's no fuel leaks because on the ETA uh, fuel system you have the, uh, the starter valve you know it's an extra fuel injector on the on the port here on the intake here and then of course the fuel rail make sure that's not leaking if you guys haven't looked at the channel, we have a few different playlists going on. We have an E31 with a five lug swap, but kind of like a how-to, but just kind of showing how the whole process works. We have the M50 swap playlist that should be uh, filling up pretty quick. We have two videos on there already, so if you haven't already started watching it, go ahead and watch it. We'll go ahead and link them at the end of the video or up here, whichever one appears first. And uh, we're gonna add more DIY videos between my brother and I. Uh, we were talking about this, we're gonna be doing an M50 DIY video. Uh, since we're doing two rebuilds at the same time, we're gonna take the time to show you guys a lot of helpful tips that can help you in your build at home. So, and, uh, you know, if, if you guys, we're not claiming that we know everything, and if you have tips for us, always drop a comment. Because, you know, definitely we're, we're not like the last solution or the first solution to anything. Yeah, absolutely. Just because we're giving you tips doesn't mean that you can't give us some. There are plenty of master mechanics out there that know an encyclopedia's worth of knowledge on these cars. And we're always really stoked to meet those kind of people in person. So if you ever see us rolling around, say hi, let's hang out. We're not, we're not we don't want to be strangers, for real. Thank you guys for tuning in. We really appreciate your support. Honestly, it's super awesome to be able to make videos for you guys, hopefully weekly, starting from now on. We're trying to do that. But anyway, until the next one guys, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Take care.